Uh, let me share my screen. Hope everyone can able to view my screen. If yes, type yes in the chat box. If you can able to view my screen, just type yes. Hello. Can you hear me, guys? If you can hear me, type yes. Hello. Yes, uh, Srikant, can you hear me? Hello, hi, Sanjeev. Yeah. Uh, okay, good morning. You can hear me. Yes, I can hear. Actually, you have disabled the chat, so that's why we couldn't type anything. Okay, okay. Not an issue. Okay, uh, just start the today's session. Okay, okay. Yesterday, okay. what we have seen, seen is um, uh, how the server look like. Uh, Srikant, can you please go on mute? Okay. Uh, sure. Okay. Yesterday, what we seen is how the server looked like. Okay, and uh, what is the sys or system user, and how why this virtually the database has been getting partition. Okay, this is the thing that we have seen yesterday. And how do we connect using the third party tools like SQL Developer Tool, BI, OBI, Apex, or ADF whatever it will be the tools okay right now we'll park this one aside for a moment and we move on to the next topic and then we'll come back and we'll merge the two topics again okay so, see right now we'll go into the business scenario guys okay business scenario imagine i have a supply chain business okay supply chain business okay um so what kind of data what kind of data I will have in a supply chain business? Tell me. See, imagine I have an uh, Amazon itself is a uh, supply chain business. Imagine what kind of data you can gather in supply chain business. Okay. Tell me. See, uh, have you seen this Amazon invoice, right? When you buy a product in Amazon, okay, uh, on the box, you will get an invoice, right? Where you have this order number okay and your name okay and there are some addresses on it and the product you ordered and final amount these are the basic amounts right, that you can see on amazon invoice even the same you can see in flipkart also right yes or no just yes if yes means just type yes here okay so the chat is disabled uh but not an issue so hope every yeah uh, just who want to speak Please unmute yourself and you can speak it. Not an issue. Okay. And today I'm giving opportunity to Srikant. Okay. And uh, Abdul. And uh, who else want to participate today? Okay. No one? Okay. Today I'm giving opportunity to Srikant and uh, um, Abdul. Okay. Uh, okay. See, in supply chain business, okay, in uh, Amazon so Invoice, what are the details that you see? Okay, if you see, open the Amazon, um, whatever the parcel that you will get, right? First thing, what you see is order number, right? First thing, okay, order number, you will see or not on that invoice. Yeah. X, Y, Z information and you will have an order number. And second field is order date also you can see it okay on which date you have ordered it okay and third is supplier who has supplied that product yes or no you might be seeing supplier and you see guys you see address also your uh, uh, address okay you will see even the address details okay and uh, your name right yes or no Hello? Yes, yes. Sir. 
with your name you will pick and and what are the other details guys item product product details product and quantity how much quantity you ordered yes or no hmm? yes and uh, unit price hmm? is there any other details that you can see you can see more details okay but these are the basic and uh, definitely required details that you can see in the um, order right yes or no yes so even you have more details but we are considering the most important mandatory details okay oh first imagine in amazon i have ordered in order number one okay o or d okay my order is o or d underscore one is my first order okay i have ordered on first august 2023 i have ordered on first order 2023 supplier is hp hp laptop i have ordered address my address okay i'm from uh, florida usa okay uh, okay i'm from florida you see in address has a full more details okay but i'm considering only two fields that is state and country okay my name i'm considering as sanju and the product product see supplier is hp but the product is some uh, mouse or uh, laptop or whatever it may be okay i'm ordering some mouse with specific uh, will see have you ever seen some special code in the car in the name of a product see imagine you ordered a mouse but when you see the invoice you might be seeing some code right hp underscore m o underscore zero one underscore like that have you observed any time that product names like that in amazon or flipkart when you buy the products you might be observed right you don't yes. see that mouse there you see some codings right with some special codes or like that right so those we call products okay and quantity quantity i have ordered 10 quantity and each quantity price is 200 okay this is the main things i have ordered okay in mouse also i have ordered uh um, we have so i'm saying mo underscore okay, p underscore one p underscore one is the one product quality quantity okay you have read different if uh, even in mouses you have a different different uh, qualities right p underscore one is one quality i have ordered 10 quantity okay can i can i order okay multiple items in one order yes have you ever ordered multiple items in one order in amazon hmm? yes yes right same uh, same these things will not change right these things will change will not change okay but i'm ordering now laptop bag okay lp bg okay laptop bag bg bg one quantity i'm ordering how many laptop bags i'm ordering i'm ordering five laptop bags okay and each is 500 worth okay and another product i'm ordering is okay i'm saying ch underscore one is my charger i'm ordering and i'm ordering two charges each worth is thousand okay hello yeah order that i have ordered in order can you tell me even oh, i can have how many orders i can have n number of orders right yes order one order two order three order four like that okay I can have any number of is this understand can you understand this in error or not at, at least this data is valid or not for me is this data is valid or not for me valid yes yes, valid. yes. 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 this data is valid imagine I, I can have more orders like this okay and uh, okay now imagine this is um order two I'm ordering order two. Okay. I have ordered on 
second okay second august okay uh, this time i'm uh, ordering some uh, not an hp now i'm going with lenovo products okay lenovo products okay same my address is florida usa and now i am not ordering some other guy is ordering okay imagine uh, rahul rahul is ordering the products okay this order two belongs to rahul it's not it doesn't belongs to me you are getting it right everyone hello yeah got it rahul two is ordering the products and he ordered some other products of quality too okay uh some of different he he ordered some different quality products or different products or something okay uh yeah. and he ordered this one is same he ordered and he ordered instead of laptop bag he might be ordering uh some belt okay he ordered some belt of quantity one of price 500 okay and mouse uh sorry this mouse of quality t2 he ordered only one and with the price of 150 rupees. okay you got it right this data you understand this data everyone there is no doubt right guys everyone yes. you understand this data so what oracle says not oracle okay yesterday i told you right dbms okay we heard uh, about some terminology called dbms and rdbms here normalization concepts right Yesterday we discussed this concept. Okay. See, guys, what Oracle or RDBMS says is you should not hold every data in the same place. Okay. You should not, it, their data should not be available at the same place. Okay. It should be splitted. Okay. It should be normalized. Okay. The normalization. In general, in English, what is meant by normalization? Tell me. In English, just normalization. In English, guys, English terminology of normalization. What is it? Okay. What is meaning of normalization is instead of having a complex things at one place, we will split it into small, small things and we'll maintain the things. You are getting it right. We are splitting the instead of maintaining everything at one place and making complex, we split it into small, small things. Okay, small, small areas and we'll maintain. Okay, mean that is English way of um, uh, meaning of the normalization. So we are not talking right now into the RWMS point of view. We are speaking the English point of view. Normalization is just a normal thing. Okay, we maintain instead of maintain. So why Oracle says you should not maintain everything in one place? Or RDBMS says you should not maintain everything in one place. Why? Because due to security reasons. You are getting it right, everyone. What is security? See, imagine if I have all this data available at one place. See, this is my friend. I can edit this one to from ten rupees. Uh, uh, sorry, from uh, uh, two hundred rupees to I'm maintaining to two rupees. Can I edit this one or not? If we are maintaining everything at one place. I don't like Rahul. So what I'm doing, I'm meant I'm converting this 115 to 1500. You are getting it right. What is happening? If we have every data at one place. Hmm? Is it like compromising? Not compromising. Okay. Uh, that that is the reason uh, RDB miss came into picture guys. Okay, that doesn't mean we maintain uh, we, we won't maintain all everything at one place. There is some databases still we maintain all the information at one place. Okay, those are called uh, no SQL databases. Okay, if you heard of a name called no SQL databases, which doesn't require any query to retrieve the data, just select start from table. That's it. You will get all the data from it. So, what is the use of uh, no SQL databases? That's a secondary question, but we are not going into that right now. Okay, but we are considering it should not be as per RDB muscles, all the data should not be at the same place. What, what are the rules and regulations that brought into picture to split this data? Okay, there comes the picture called normalization.
okay what there come the picture called normalization in normalization we have a different levels first normal form second normal form okay third normal form fourth normal form voice chord normal form these are the, the levels of a normalization but we don't discuss in deep each and every normalization we will see how this can be split it okay you are getting it right how this can be split it see first normalization says there should not be any duplicate data is there any duplicate data here hello is no. there any duplicate? what no there is no duplicate data and second normalization says split the data into different levels such a way that there should not be any dependency interdependency see order number order date supplier address name okay these things are repeating or not for each and every order for me yeah that is true this is repeating so what we do is we split this data into two tables okay one i i'll call it as order header details okay order header okay imagine one table is called order header table so in order header table i consider only these columns okay i consider only these columns in a order header table okay i consider so what is the data i can bring i can bring this data here right yes or no hmm? hello sorry uh, i also did, i didn't get that so tell me see i'm splitting this data into two table two uh, separate entities so two separate data okay this big data into small small chunks okay okay i'm considering till here as one data this is as another data you are getting it right got it okay so this is one name i'm giving to this data that is order header for this data i'm giving another name called order detail okay order detail so in order detail i will have this information you are getting it right no i have split this one yes yes okay can't you see duplicate now here in this do i need to maintain this many records here with the same data it doesn't require right i can remove this data because it's the same data right there is no use as per first normalization rule i should not have duplicate information right this thing you are getting it right what i have done here i have removed the duplicate data from this table yes or no yes yes here what i'll do is for every or here i'll maintain one more column here i'll create one more column in the dependency detail or detail table called again order id okay order number only okay i'll create one more column called order number and i'll say here this belongs to first three belongs to order one i need to maintain relation or not this belongs to order two next three belongs to order two you are getting it right everyone hello is it not duplication in this order detail then yeah uh, are you seeing any duplicates now it's order no. numbers number is not duplicate right you should duplicate means combination of all this thing okay not okay. Duplicate. okay if you consider all this line it should not be duplicate not the individual one see see now even further this can be splitted guys even further this can be splitted See, imagine I have another order. Imagine I have another order. Okay. Okay. 
called order 3 okay and he is also ordering lenovo okay see even he is ordering lenovo so what normalization says is and one of the normalization shares is wherever you see like direct data and sensitive data okay you should not display direct sensitive data in any table it should be in uh, its code or you can say its id should be displayed but not the direct values see by this seeing this information i can say this order belongs to sanju this order belongs to rahul this order belongs to mohan okay you can tell it or not by seeing this one wherever you have a sensitive information or uh, right in that sensitive information you should not directly display the values you should maintain a keys or a uh, ids or keys of those values that's the normalization says one of the norm so this table can be further splitted right you are getting it right this supplier information so i'm not going to split this one i'm going to split the supplier information okay so what i'll do this header information will maintain like this only okay now okay so we'll split this one further okay i'll maintain one more table called supplier table or supplier information in this supplier i'll maintain this information okay i say sub id is supplier id okay yes name is supplier name supplier id s underscore one is hp s underscore two is lenovo okay then what is the value of hp now here for me what is the value of hp it should be s underscore one here okay and at the place of lenovo it should be s underscore two supplier two okay see by this seeing s underscore two can you tell me whether it's uh, lenovo or hp or whatever it may be can by seeing s underscore one can you tell me whether it belongs to hp or whatever it may be can you tell me anyone hello guys mm -hmm. no right we should take a help of this one hello right right yeah. i got it this further i have splitting because by because for me this is a sensitive information guys if this is a sensitive information and you don't i don't display direct sensitive information here in the tables direct tables okay i'm further maintaining key values so i'm maintaining this value here okay uh other uh any questions please ask me hey yeah i have a question here so uh, now we have divided the order details into order header order details like different different uh, chunks or mm -hmm. smaller chunks right mm -hmm. so is this part done automatically or uh, do we need a manual intervention in this see these things will be uh designed by the architect okay oracle mm -hmm. architect so once you have 10 years or 12 years 15 years of experience so while you are implementing your uh, oracle database it may be any database oracle or mysql whatever it may be so this is a one-time scenario okay but uh data will be split like this only uh, once you come to the arctic level you will definitely come to the meaning come to know the meaning of this one okay have you ever mm -hmm. seen right, while booking any tickets or something okay see oh. uh, uh, while you booking a tickets or something right sometimes you don't see whatever the movie that you want from the list okay but if some guy enters some information somewhere you can see the details here have you ever seen that scenario see you get, you went to the library okay and you are trying to borrow a book from the library but unfortunately in a library list you uh, librarian couldn't able to find your name have you ever seen such scenarios but if you go to the admin side and you request your name is not being a library just they open the screen and just they do something then 
uh, your name is uh, visible in library system. Have you ever seen such scenarios in your real time? Any scenario, not only this. Have you ever observed those things in your real time? If if I am doing something at some other location, why in library or some XYZ uh, my profile is visible? Have you ever faced such situations in your real time? You might be, right? Yes. yes. Same way, this also I can split guys. This products also. Okay. See, even this order details. See, this product, this is also sensitive information for me. So, what I'll do, I'm maintaining here product. Okay. I'll maintain one more tables for this product called products. Products table. I'm maintaining. Here I'm maintaining PID, product ID, okay, and product name, okay. I'm saying P underscore name, which is a product name, okay. Okay, I'm maintaining here. So these all are the products, okay. I'm maintaining here, okay. Is anything repeating here? One thing, a CH1 is repeating. So I don't want to repeat those things, okay. Here. Okay, and this one is this is a sensitive information. I say P underscore one is my this one, P underscore two is this one. Okay, this is my products information. So what are the things I maintain here? I maintain P underscore one. This is uh, P underscore two. Okay. Three and CH one is again P underscore three for me. Okay, this is P underscore five. You got it right, everyone. Hello. Yes. Hello. Sir. By seeing this one, can you tell me what is P underscore four? It's difficult, right? Unless or until we have access to this one. Yes or no? So. By considering this data, please tell me, okay, order two, okay, order two, okay, what is the product for order two? What is the product from this data? Tell me. It's open option to everyone, guys. For order two, okay. Uh, what is the product? Can you relate? See, order two, I'm coming here. I see order two products P4, P3, P5. Again, what is P4? I'll come here and I'll check is MO, P2. Okay, and P3 is there. I'll come here and check. It's a CH1. Okay, order two. Again, here I have order two, P5 its belt okay this is so we are mapping it or not from this all this information hello right yes or no everyone okay uh, see this is the one of the most important concept in oracle that is joins see this is one set of data, this is one set of data, this is one set of data, this is one set of data. So, how I'm relating this one? There is one column in this data which is I'm relating with one column in another table. Okay, see, if I say order two, you are saying order two from here, you are connecting with your naked eyes to this order two, and I say products, what are the products? I'll give name here. This is uh, mouse, okay, with the uh, quality one okay this is the name okay this lap uh, laptop bags okay this is the description but uh, guys okay with uh, quality one quality one okay uh, ch um, this is also a uh, mouse with quality two second quality okay Second quality. This is I'm saying belt belt only. I'm saying uh, what we said char charger. 
charger Lenovo one. Okay, these are the description. Okay, imagine this is a description, product description. Okay, if I ask, if I ask you, what is the products that belongs to order one? How you are relating? You yeah, so we are pulling orders here, order ID and belongs to Sanju and order ID. I'm coming here, I'm checking. Yeah, here I have order one. And these are the products P1, P2, P3. Do I have a description here for P1, P2, P3? Srikant, Adil, Abdul? Mm. No, right? No. Again, I'm pulling this one. I'm coming here, P1, P2, P3. So I'm checking here, P1, P2, P3. What is P1, P2, P3? Mouse of quality one, laptop bags of quality one, charger Lenovo of quality one. This is the products, right, for me? How we are relating this one? This is called joins, guys, in Oracle. Not even in Oracle. In any programming, Oracle means DB programming, this is the way. Here, how we are connecting with your naked eyes, same way we will connect with programming. You are getting it, right? If I say, uh, who is the supplier for order one? Tell me. Uh, we'll give option to anyone uh, other than Sri Kantanadal. Please raise your hand who you want to answer this question. Who is the supplier for order one? Guys, please raise your hands if you want to answer. I'll give you an option. Okay, Puno. Okay, tell me who is the supplier for order one? Tell me. Let it be wrong, okay? I'm not uh, insisting you to uh, uh, for wrong answers, okay? Just it's a learning, guys, okay? We'll make a mistakes. We'll learn from the mistakes, okay? So can tell me, Poonam, who is the uh, uh, supplier for order number two? Tell me. Lenovo. Lenovo. How you are relating? See, order one, it's, uh, sorry, order two, and it's S2, you are coming here and checking S2 and it's Lenovo. Yes or no? Is that yes. way, right? We yes. Check it. Yes. See, this is the way to write a joins in Oracle. Not in Oracle, in any pro, uh, in any DBMS, RDBMS. This is called relational database, relation. How is the relation? See, this order number is linked with this. This supplier is linked with this supplier. Okay, this P1, P2, P3, P4, P5 is linked with these things. This is, okay. Here, one more terminology comes into picture called primary keys and foreign keys. Okay, primary keys and foreign keys, guys. Okay, what is primary key? See, in each and every table, there should be one primary key. Okay, see here supplier ID is in primary key for us. This one is a primary key for us. What is the primary key? On this primary key only, entire rest of the records are dependent for us. This is a primary key. Again, do I have a same information in this table or not? Yes or no? I have a same information. This S1, S2, I'm repeating here. Yes or no? Hello? This S1, S2 is from this table. I don't have S1, S2 directly here. This one are the copies of this table. This, if I have S2 here, then only I can order it here. That otherwise I can't order. Just before example I have given you. If you don't see your name in library, that means your name is not entered somewhere. If I add, want to order uh, product from supplier three, since I don't have supply three in this table, I cannot select the supply three here. You're getting it right, everyone? Yes, right. Yes, yes, right? yes. Yeah. So this is called relations. Okay, this is primary key here. The same thing will become foreign key here. Okay, this is a foreign key. This is blue one is a foreign key and green one is a primary key. In this table, order header table, what is the primary key? Order number is a primary key for me. Because see, the rest of the thing may change. Sanju may order the same multiple orders on the same day for the same supplier. But orders are different. You're getting it, right? 
same way rahul may order multiple products on same day or a different day but orders are different he ordered twice you're getting it right everyone real time scenarios these are okay so this is my primary key here and what is the foreign key here it's the foreign key for me okay this is the foreign key so because i'm relating this order id with this order id or am i relating this order id with this, this product how we are connecting guys punam how we are connecting are we comparing this order id with this order id or i am comparing this order id with product which one i am comparing order with order order with order so if this is a primary key here this is a foreign key okay and here its product id in product table is a primary key here it is a foreign key for me. yeah foreign key this is the relation you are getting it right everyone so imagine now i want output order number okay okay order number and um, supplier name okay okay i want order number and supplier name as output guys okay i need these two things i need order number and supplier name this two only i want tell me from how many tables i need to select the data this two right i need uh, data from this two only yes or no hello yes yes yeah two yeah we need data from this two so what how we write a queries means since i need these two columns i need to check order number from which table i'll get order number i'll get order number from order header table yes or no hello right right yeah from which table i'll get supplier name i'll get from supplier table yes or no yes right yes yes so first i'm selecting select is the select so what are the things i need i need these two things select okay order number supply name yes name okay this note is up yes name okay this time selecting okay next section we will have a from 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 order number i said just now we will have order number from order header table from supplier name do you have a supplier name in order header table do you have a supplier name in order yeah. header table yes supplier name i have a supplier name or id in order header table id 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 but i have a name i want name not id you are getting it right my requirement so i have a supplier name in supplier table yes or no guys correct but uh abdul you want to speak no oh, i have given you option is you if you want you can unmute yourself and speak okay see so i have a order number i can get it from header but supplier name i don't have here i have here in suppliers okay so i'm considering this two tables i need to select from in from you're getting it right i want this two yeah fine not an issue but order number i'll get it from here supplier name i'm getting from supplier you're getting it right this two out okay i'm writing one more class where okay right now don't uh, bother about where see uh, just keep it this one as okay see you now how we joined this two guys tell me how you join this to imagine this is uh, s p underscore id in column name is r see order header table supplier id i am join i am comparing with supplier table supplier id yes or no i am comparing yes, this id with this id yes or no yes sir so here i am writing like 
in this header table okay see oh uh, this order headers table okay i'm writing like this order headers table dot sup underscore id okay is equal to okay supplier dot sup underscore id did you understand this line last line guys if it doesn't understand please tell me we'll discuss again this and this line you understand see you compared with your naked eyes you are comparing with your naked eyes right this id is with this id yes or no this id this id you are comparing with our eyes yes or no just oh. by looking into this we are comparing or not this two hmm? everyone any doubts here please raise your hand i'm giving you option any doubts here hello no sir. no sir any doubts we are comparing with our naked eyes yes or no here s1 and here s1 and here s2 here s2 we are comparing with our naked eyes or not this one same thing how program knows but guys since we are a human beings we can understand we are comparing this one with this one but how the program knows program knows only coding that's the reason i'm writing here this table supplier id i'm comparing with this table supplier id this point did you understand everyone did everyone did you got it yes any doubts hmm? yes. yes did you understand if yes tell us yes. yes no tell no we'll discuss again okay see you understand that right? everyone got this one this is a query guys this is the query this is called query okay whatever we are comparing with our naked eyes right the same thing we are writing in the form of a query is there any difficulty guys in this writing any queries and 90% of rule remember how we joins joins 90% of the joins are primary key foreign key joins only across all the tables in all the program all the dbms or rdbms concepts there won't be any further join without primary key foreign key 90% of the joins are primary key foreign key joins only see i can join with this sid with this sid yes or no what is this this is a primary key foreign key relation or not hmm? hello yes is this primary key foreign key relation or not yes right yes see, how can i join this table and this table with order number yes or no this table and this table is order number this is foreign key here okay this order number is a foreign key here i can join this order number with this order number only but this both are primary key foreign key only yes or no how do i join this details and this one this is a primary key here this is a foreign key here i can join with p1 with p1 only i cannot join p1 with this order id yes or no hello everyone yeah, got it if you got it right so what is this this two or primary key foreign key relation only so i want to know now order uh, order one uh, item description what are the products that i ordered for order one so i need output okay see order number okay and description product description i need these two things guys i need order number and description a product description where is order number i'll have order number here where is product description i have product description here you got it one is at this corner another one is this corner how do we join where is order number in which table order header i have a order number tell me from what okay from i'm taking oh, order is... i have it in order header table yes or no guys order number i have in order header table yes or no guys this one is clear right yes sir where i have a products product products table right i have products in products table guys 
for with your naked eyes can you j- directly join from here to here or do you need the help of this one details yes sir dependency is there help is required dependency is there see this is the thing i want to tell you there are certain scenarios where you need information of this and this but you need to take the help of intermediate dependency mapping tables okay you got the clarity right even though i doesn't required order details i am not displaying any information related to order details but i need to take the table in from clause because without this order details i cannot compare this two directly yes or no yes sir got it everyone see your grandfather is there you are here without your parents how can you relate your grandfather and you no right yes or no yes in the role of this table no so from where i am saying now where come to where okay how do we join first what we directly can i join this one with this no first i need to join this order id with order details order id yes or no order number yes or no right that is our first step right guys hello so we are comparing with our eyes first i am comparing with this and this here i am catching this and again i am going here yes or no this is the two steps right i am doing here comparison so first step i am comparing okay order header id so so to get on okay headers order number header and order number i am joining with okay order details okay order details order number is this right or wrong first i am doing this one only right with our main with my naked eyes hmm first we are doing with this only right yes or no it is speak up guys there is means first relating two tables first yeah first time. i am with my naked eyes i am joining this one with this one yes or no here and then i am picking this one from this table and i am joining with this so again here what i'll do i'll writing and after that i'm doing and i'm saying this one now order details okay and i'm saying order details dot okay product is equal to products dot pid this is how i'm comparing right guys any doubts yeah hmm? but i want shoot that is interest guys uh-huh. Uh, but so the out UI, but the outcome we need is the description i will tell that in product here in products i have the description adha na ivlo na solittu idare okay means in entire description right entire row we will be able to see that is all right yeah okay so i will compare with your naked eyes if i say so leave about this query guys now if i say what is the products belongs to order one tell me how you are comparing srikanth how you are comparing tell me with your naked eyes give about the query mm-hmm. yeah by seeing the table okay by seeing you are saying this order id you are comparing with this order id yes or no that's the reason i am mentioned there right order number with this order number correct or wrong right. second step what you are doing how many places you have order one these three places you have order one okay with your eyes only Right. This three places. What is P one, P two, P three? Here you are coming and you are picking P one, P two, P three here. What sir? No. Yes. This one you are comparing with this P one, P two, P three. That is only right. I wrote it here. Here I say product. So uh, instead of confusing, I say here also P I D only. Okay. I'll take the name P I D. Okay. 
Now, here, is it fine now? Now, what I'm doing, I'm, come, I, I'm taking this three and I'm coming here, P1, yeah, here I have P1, P2, here I have P2, P3, here I have P3, this three. I'm comparing or not here? Hello? Correct, yeah, comparing. This is how I'm doing. The same thing I wrote in the form of code here. That's it. Is there any difficulty here, guys? See, in this join also, this order number is a primary key. This order number is a foreign key. Yes, sir, no? Hmm? Right. Yes, sir, no? And in this scenario, in second one, this one is a foreign key. This one is a primary key. Yes, sir, no? Is there any further joins, right, we wrote? No, right? That's the reason. Again, I'm repeating you. 90% of the cases, if you write a join, it would be primary key, foreign key, relation only case. You got it, right? Everyone? Yes, yes sir. Okay. I'll give you homework for you. I need order number supplier name and description okay i need this three first homework i need order number okay supplier name description i need this three this is homework one okay second homework i need order number okay uh, name who bought the product okay and uh, i need product description product name or description okay and price total price i don't want individual prices i want price price means quantity into unit price you are getting it right quantity to 10 into 2 okay that is 20 is the price this is my requirement this two is for your homework tomorrow okay you'll do and come back this is for tomorrow home. you're getting it right this three this scenario you have understood or not did you understood or not hello hello yes see guys yeah data point of view writing queries point of view you are perfect right now but understand from a business point of view See, these two informations I'll maintain in one schema. What is schema? Now we are merging this one. Okay, now since I am uh, into the business scenario, now I'm taking, considering this one as a purchase module. Purchase module. This is purchase module. In this purchase module, I'll maintain These two tables only. Order address and order details table. I don't maintain any further tables here. You are getting it right? Even this unit price, I need not to maintain here, guys. I can maintain here, here itself. Because while defining the products itself, I can maintain the unit price of the product or for products, there is a different, uh, in real time, for defining any unit price, the uh, scenario is itself is different, guys, okay? But uh, right now, we are considering here itself, we can maintain. Because what I will do by maintaining prices, unit price here, if I don't like a guy, if I like Sanju, I can, I can modify the price, unit price here or not? Yes or no? Hello? Since uh, this, guys, you are under, you are following me or not? Uh, can you please repeat once again? See, I'm maintaining this unit prices also. Okay. Here. Beside description, I'm maintaining unit price. Here only I'm maintaining unit price of that product. I don't want to maintain here. I'm not maintaining here unit price. Uh, product 1, unit price is 2. Okay. Uh, product 2, uh, unit price is 500 okay uh, product 3 unit price is 1000 okay product 4 uh, unit price is 1500 okay uh, product 5 unit price is 500 
So I'm not maintaining this information here now. Okay. Is this valid or not? Price belongs to product only, unit price. It's not belong to order, yes or no? In real time scenarios, think in a real time. Yes. Hmm? Right, right. In order, I have only oh. quantity. How much uh, uh, how many products I have ordered for that particular quantity, that only I will have information here. I don't maintain any further information here. This is called normalization only, guys. This is normalization. What is the data that is necessary for that module? You will keep only those informations with them. That's it, not more. See, here, this order header table and order detail table, I'll maintain in purchase order table module. Okay, here I maintain order, order header and order detail. This two table information only I'll maintain in the purchasing module because I'm purchasing this two data. Means this is only this information. But where I'll maintain this uh, supplier information? This supplier information I'll maintain in one more module called supplier module. Imagine I'm maintaining one more module called supplier module. Here in this supplier module, I only maintain our vendorship information. Vendorship means who is our suppliers with how much price they are supplying the only those information i will maintain in the supplier module because if the purchasing module and supplier module is both under the control of me uh, i have a, my friend who can supply the product i can enter those details here or not you're getting it right since you have see guys you have an option in your organization to create a purchase or means you can buy something to your organization. Unfortunately, your friend itself is a supplier of those products. Can you raise here itself your, uh, with your friend name, can you raise the one purchase order or not? Hello? Hello? Yes. Yes, right. To avoid those things, what I mean, I'm maintaining supplier table here. Okay. And and maintain one more module called inventory. Inventory. Inventory module, I'll maintain this information, products information. Here it will have products details. Okay. Now, why these schemas, this many schemas? Why? See, here for your naked eyes, you can see everything is uh, fitting here. But, but why I need to maintain these two? in one schema, this one in one schema, and this one in one schema, this is called security guys. Inventory people, they maintain only the inventory information. They don't bother about orders. They don't bother about suppliers and all the stuff. Inventory, in detail, if you go for inventory, even this pricing is also will not be maintained by inventory guys. There is separate team, okay, to maintain these prices. Not the inventory team doesn't maintain the presence in a real time scenarios. Okay, in supply chain scenarios. Okay, there is a separate team for to maintain these prices also. Okay, but right now for a small example, we are considering even uh, we are assuming even inventory is maintaining the prices, product prices. See, if I'm raising the order, okay, in a purchase order module, I'm creating one order. Imagine I'm raising a Lenovo laptop creating a purchase order called Lenovo laptop. Imagine, okay, uh, if inventory is also in my control, can I modify the product price or not? Hmm? Hello? Can I modify the pro this price or not? Hmm? Yes, sir. Yes or no? Yes, we can modify. So, system should not allow us to modify the prices system should only allow us to create order that's it from this user system can allow you only to select the suppliers from the provided list of suppliers only it should not allow you to enter your own supplier information if you have all these tables in the same schema, 
your same schema, then you can, there is a chance that you can even modify the details or not. Okay, you won't modify. You are 10 people in your department who are working. At least if not you, some other will modify or not. Chances are there or not. Right. So, yeah. right, right? This so uh, this RDBMS concept itself will not take any chances. It don't give even a one percent chance to anyone. Okay, to manipulate any data, to uh, tamper any data. So that is the reason this schema came into picture in Oracle. You guys understand? Got it? Everyone. You understand this scenario, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's all we're uh, done with today's time. Okay. Uh, tomorrow we continue with the next topic. And please, if you like this session, please refer your friends uh, to join the tomorrow session, guys. Okay. Thank you. And provide your feedback uh, to the people. And the persons who raise your hand, any questions? Uh, Abdul, ma'am, and Poonam. Any other people, guys, if you want to speak, uh, you can raise your hand. I'll give them control for you, access for you to speak. Nikhil. Okay, thank you. Uh, I have a question. Yeah, please. Okay, so in sheet two, we have created number of tables, right? Order header, order mm -hmm. details like that. So, and you have mentioned a concept called modules. So, are these different? Means tables and modules are. are yeah, yeah. module is a little different. Okay, schema is different. Yeah. Module, uh, module, it comes under okay. some. Uh, in if you consider it as a module, right? Module is a portion of uh, some, uh, some portion of some schema and some portion of other schema. Can combine so with module yeah. all for an application side. Okay. Right now we are from back end. Okay. Module something like a from a front end kind of thing. Okay. From application point of view, we call that one as a module, which handles a certain kind of business. Okay. Purchasing is a module. Means purchasing module will only handle the purchasing information. That is from a front end perspective. I'm saying. Okay. Module means okay. Right now we are into the back end, only consider back end. Back end we call it a schema. And uh, as a right uh, in different projects, we'll call with a different different names. That's the reason uh, I was telling you even a module. Okay. In uh, it doesn't mean uh, module or schema or DB user. Okay. Some people will say DB user, some people will say schema, some people will say module. Nothing but same. Okay. 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 So any further questions? Okay, we are ending the session here. Please refer your friends. Okay, thank you. Thank you.